welcome back to my channel for the living in today's video I'm going to show you how to make chickpeas I used the long soak method so I added the beans to a large bowl and covered them with several inches of water along with a jar of whey Whey helps to neutralize the enzyme inhibitors, making the beans and grains more digestible and nutrient dense. Along with the chickpeas, I soaked a little kelp and wakame in a bowl with water overnight as well. Keep watching to find out what I did with this. There's no need to wash or wipe off the white powdery substance as kombu is pretty clean these days. The white compound is known as mannitol, which is the key contributor to umami. After soaking my beans overnight, I put the strained beans in a large pot, cover the beans with several inches of water, and bring everything to a boil. Reduce the heat and simmer until they reach your desired tenderness, about one and a half to two hours. When simmering, you can keep the pot lid off or on, but slightly ajar, allowing some steam to escape while cooking. I kept the lid off. Beans simmered without a lid will be cooked but firm, which are perfect for salads or chili. Beans cooked with the lid on but a jar will be creamier, softer, and break apart more easily. These are perfect for hummus or dishes where you want the beans to break apart. Now as promised, bonus information for you. Now I'm going to make a little something special. Adding dashi broth is an optional step. Feel free to leave the step out if you like. I just feel like adding it takes the beans to the next level. It increases the nutrient levels and it adds a little umami to the party might I add. But the choice is yours. Strain the mixture and repeat the same step just with water the next time. Pour the finished product in a clean jar and set it aside. Remove the roasted tomatoes from the oven. Place the tomatoes in a blender with a little coconut milk and garlic and blend until smooth. Now this is totally optional. Add a little coconut milk to a small saucepan. In addition to that, add dried shiitake mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, and mataki mushrooms to the pot. Simmer for 20 minutes and remove the mushrooms. You can chop them up and add them to the sauce. It's up to you though. While that's simmering, add chopped red onions, bok choy, yellow, orange, and red bell peppers to a well-oiled pan and saute until tender. Seasoning throughout for maximum flavor. I always saute the stalks first before the leafy part of the vegetable as they cook at different speeds. I seasoned the vegetables with Himalayan pink salt, smoked paprika, garlic powder, a tiny bit of cumin powder, not too much or it'll overpower the dish. Then I add baby portobello mushrooms to the party. Add the coconut infused mushroom stock and the roasted tomato sauce to the pan and stir.
Place fresh tarragon in the skillet and stir, seasoning it to taste throughout the process. Add the cooked and strained chickpeas to the sauce and stir. I had to transfer it to a bigger pot to keep it from spilling over. Bring to a boil and simmer on low for 15 minutes to allow the flavors to blend and allow the chickpeas to absorb this delicious sauce. Season to taste and voila, you're done. It's so delicious. Eat them alone or as a stew or pair with a little rice or quinoa. Tell me what you think about my recipe. If you found this video useful, please smash the like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye!